sit back, grab yourself a coffee, glass of wine or a beer and enjoy the video. Alright, hopefully some guys can help me out here. I've got this bowl blank from Yandles in Somerset in England about three months ago. But for the life of me, I can't remember what it is and the label's fallen off. It's like a orangey colour with some brown streaks going through it. It's quite dense, got a bit of weight to it. Maybe, hopefully, someone can ID it for me. Help me out, please. I'm sure some of you experienced guys, more experienced than me, can help me out. Anyway, I'm going to turn it today. And um, we'll see what it is. Right, got the shape I wanted. Got to do the recess for the for when I turn it around. Just gonna, gonna have a bit of lunch now.
time for that sanding now. Maybe not. Sanded the bolt to 400 grit, got it nice and smooth. Uh, some um, original Yorkshire grit, then some microfine Yorkshire grit, and then some micro crystalline wax just to finish it off. Nice little bit of chitons going on there. Just setting up the lathe to um, hog out the inside. Just touching up the inside with um, a no scraper and making sure to take the very fine cut. I've only gone off to the bottom of it. I've not done that for a long time, at least 10 years. Um, I'm going to bung it over with a piece of ash and put some ebonizing solution over it. Yeah, you know, try and try and save it. I've not done that before. I'm gonna have to um, have a look on YouTube, do a bit of research. Simple enough to do, I should imagine. But yeah, I don't want to waste it. It's a nice piece of wood. It's only a little bowl. But it's a nice piece of wood though. But anyway, I'll get back to you on that one. All right, I've done a bit of research. Took it on how to bung this hole up. <clears throat> I think I know what I'm doing now. First of all, we've got to take this back. This bit back. To here. When using cold jaws or button jaws, it's always important to turn it only 600 RPM, no more. And 
and then measure the hole and that is 53 millimeters so now I've got to make a bung 53 millimeters in diameter all right getting there I've got to turn this down to round and then turn this bit down to 53 mil Getting close, so I've got to take it nice and steady now. Right, I've got the bowl to fit the plug, or the plug to fit the bowl. There's a bit of a gap down there. So I might have to fill that with resin or maybe some CA glue and some coffee beans or something, something to darken it up a little bit. Um, apart from that, it's not too bad. Yeah. I have to have a think about what I'm going to do now. Just crush up some coffee beans, go in a, in a little gap. Some lighter bits in there, try and get them out. Gonna glue the plug to the bowl and then turn it tomorrow, and then flip it around, put it in the cold jaws, and do the bottom. I think that's what I'm gonna do now. Leave that for overnight, let it go cure up and take it from there. I've crushed the um coffee beans up to as fine as I can get it. Stick some in there.
trouble is I've only got high viscosity really thick super glue so I don't know what I'm gonna do I tried a little bit it seems to be working but it's really thick and this cold weather it's even thicker Ugh. You really do need um, thin CA glue to do this. In the end, I'd go to my local hardware store and buy some thin CA glue. Too thick. All right, got it back on the lathe. Um, zip glue and coffee beans. Just gonna turn it back, see what we got. You really need to wear safety glasses when working with zip glue, even when it's cured get in your eyes it stings like buggery yeah don't ask me how I know that Alright, got the inside all nice and smooth, just got to sand it. It's looking alright. Yeah, you got the contrast in two different colours and the black ring there. Looks alright, looks quite good. Nobody never know what I've done. Just gonna do a bit of sanding. See how it goes. That's the inside finished up, come out quite nice really, quite pleased with that, first time saving um, saving a bowl, and um, yeah, I'm going to flip it around now, uh, put it in the cold jaws, button jaws, whatever you want to call them, and then suss it out from there I guess. Alright, got to flip it around in the cold jaws, button jaws, I'm just going to cut this bit off here. So let me turn all that away then. Just getting the base of the bowl flat. Making a little bit of a concave in it so it sits nice and flat on the on the table. Now I've got it flush with the bowl. Just a bit of sanding. <laughs> The outside all finished up. Used um, Yorkshire grit and Yorkshire grit microfine and some um, sort of dust and some um, just some wax to just finish the bottom off. The plug's looking good, nice and tight fit around the bottom. Shame I couldn't get it on the inside, but I mean, never mind, it's all done. I think it's quite cool with the coffee beans actually, it gives it a bit of another little feature. Yeah, quite pleased with that. 
first time plugging the bowl. Here we go. Got this one all finished up now. It's seven inches by two inches, and the plugs come out really well. The bottom is flush. I didn't have to use any um, super glue or coffee beans so on this in the inside. I did, which I quite like. Gives it another feature, another element. Yeah. I think I have to go through the bottom more often. I quite like it. Looks, looks all right. I like the contrast between the, the ash and the whatever wood this is. I still don't know what it is. I'm not sure. But yeah. Nice little bow. Thanks for watching.